Meantime, it's been a dramatic day on Utah's Capitol Hill. There were protests and walkouts as lawmakers considered resolutions on guns and critical race theory. Ben Winslow is live on the Hill right now. Ben. Lawmakers met in what's called an extraordinary session to pass resolutions on critical race theory and declaring the state a Second Amendment sanctuary. Now that's because the governor would not put it on the special session that also happened today, so they went around him. There seems to be so much misinformation out there about what CRT is and isn't. On the steps of the Capitol, a group pushing for educational equity urged the legislature to halt a resolution supporting a ban on critical race theory in Utah schools. They say lawmakers are pushing a ban without talking to those who actually know what it is. Why wouldn't you include a diversity of people to talk about race? That just baffles my mind to have a conversation like this without that. While others showed up demanding lawmakers shut it down. CRT is a very divisive um, and destructive theory. What it does is it turns people into either the oppressed or the oppressors. Critical race theory is the idea that systemic racism is in the fabric of American society. It's not taught in Utah schools, and Republican lawmakers on Capitol Hill want to keep it that way. Certain concepts are not part of public school curriculum. The legislature passed the resolutions, but House Democrats walked off the floor, leaving Republicans to vote on it alone. For me, this is about a bigger picture. This is more than, this is beyond the CRT. What this is about is an attempt or a first step in, in um, assuring that my history and the history of many people of color are not taught in our school system in the state. Of Utah. We're calling on the state school board to look at the curriculum and determine what are the right parameters for this discussion to happen. Hopefully a call to action as well as meaningful and transformational change. It came the same day lawmakers passed a resolution honoring Asian American and Pacific Islanders in the state and condemning anti-Asian hate crimes. But GOP leaders say it's not inconsistent with their stance on critical race theory. You can't elevate and you surely can't demean another person because of their race. They're, they're so consistent. They, they, it, it, is, it is the same. Meanwhile, the legislature also passed a resolution to consider making Utah a Second Amendment sanctuary. Lawmakers say there's no specific federal policies targeting guns yet. Admittedly, there are none, but uh, unfortunately, uh, there's, a lot, there's been some saber rattling in Washington, D.C. And lawmakers today also accepted over $1.6 billion in federal COVID relief money and extended the ongoing state of emergency for drought. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News.